the idea was um, was specific and broad. Specific in the sense of taking characteristics of the 602s and injecting characteristics of the traditionals, which may seem a little simplistic, but just to distill it, meaning that taking the 602 versus going the other way around. Um, we, we started with the 602 as a basis and tried to inject some warmth, depth, whilst retaining all the original ideal characteristics of the 602, which is consistent with all of the lines of symbols that Paiste make, meaning the articulation is always there. I never lose articulation. Just, just from the idea of having this sound concept in, in our heads, basically. We, we, we were on the same page, and I thought, well, it has to be viable where it falls into a category that is kind of a missing link, but it's viable and it's, the whole idea has to be pragmatic, has to be usable. And so we agreed that there was a place for that, that there is a place for that. And we thought, well, let's, let's try this. I mean, first of all, all the symbols that Pisces produce are remarkably consistent. It's, it's a hallmark of, of one of the hallmarks of, of what Pisces does with their instruments, but we knew that there would be a level of consistency available um, that would be unprecedented trying to get that kind of sound. Let's say if you're injecting, you know, 20% of warmth from a traditional into a 602 and this much depth, and all of a sudden, you know, you've got 18% inconsistency, it's kind of, you really don't have that kind of wiggle room. You know, because you want to hear, it's subtle, but not that subtle. So you want to have it be as consistent as possible. So we decided that the 602 would be the way to, to start as a base. Those are some of the broad strokes. How, how is, is there a reason for its existence? Uh, how does it fit into the whole family of all the symbols? And um, <clears throat> the, um, the idea of uh, injecting these characteristics into the 602 was another kind of a broad, but not so broad, idea. So now you do, the next step is to, well, not only how do we do this, but, um, but you're dealing with a, a, a crash, crashes of different sizes, hi-hats, splashes, a ride, a china. <clears throat> Developmentally, those all have to be taken into consideration individually and how they work as a set together. One of my things that I like is the ability to open the symbol up without losing articulation and to be able to wash on it and crash on it, but not to the point where it's a crash ride, which is a, a lot of drummers kind of retro favorite, a crash ride, but more like a ride crash. You know what I mean? How about a ride crash? You know, you should be able to do that, but the stick shouldn't go away, and then all of a sudden, all you're left with is I mean, some people can't get enough shoes, you know? Drummers, like, can't get enough ride cymbals, right? But, but we, we, we don't want confusion. I certainly don't, and, and I mean, it gets to the point where there's so many things on the market that, with fancy names, and that, that really, it, it becomes blurred, where you can't distinguish. There's no distinction about what does this and what does that, and, the differences are so subtle, and it gets to a point where, hey, hey, wait a minute, you know, this, this, we're being ridiculous here, you know? If this is not the fifth subset of another subset of another subset, it, it's, it's just what it is, you know?